Yeah. Bell ringing and raising money for the Salvation Army. Yeah, he did some of that. Uh, in 1930, <laughs> it started in this chapter, and correct me again, because I talked about it, the recent caravan. And I said it wrong. Emory, Bird, <coughs> Thayer. 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 It started downtown. Emory, Bird, Thayer. 1930s. And it continued. We've had some kind of activity in this chapter ever since. We used to go to the mall and what was it? We raised, I think at most, $1,200 maybe one year, but usually it was around $800. And this person that that's not good enough. And so he and I think a very close friend of his, Mount Birdie, came up with the idea of Carolyn Caravan. <laughs> and I do remember saying, this is crazy. <laughs> They're talking about us going to retirement homes or retirement villages and singing 30 minutes just like we did on downtown at the malls, and then ask for donations. And I thought, yeah, that'll work. <laughs> That's crazy. I was wrong. It turned out to be a huge success, and last year, I think the total amount donated to the Salvation Army bell ringing program is right at twenty-one thousand dollars. Twenty-three. It's up to twenty-three. Right here, twenty-four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Okay. I get a dollar. That's page one. <laughs> 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 This person, because of always working with the administration of the Salvation Army, they finally realized when we started turning in all this money, somebody needed to get an award. And so he got the highest award that the Salvation Army handed at that time. And it was called Famous Son. He was given the Famous Son Award. Don't shake your head if that's not correct. I got so many inputs on this, I don't know which award you got. I know he's gotten lots of awards from Salvation Army. Matter of fact, he brought some to the chapter meeting and filled up the whole tape. That's unbelievable. with his 
the resume and all of that with his own words. So this is quote the award winner. Quote the award winner. 1991 was the first year that I, as chapter president, and for a few years prior to that, kept saying, I would like to start a Sing Valentine's program for the chapter. The guys weren't too excited about it during some planning meetings. And some said, it's just another crazy idea. I wasn't there, so I didn't say that. Prior to becoming chapter president, I had been the marketing and PR contact for the chapter and had a pretty good list of contact people of the radio and TV. That year, someone called me from one of our contacts 